My name is Sue Wei. In this series, we're going to Polytechnics and ITE for your skills challenge. In six different industries, we will be pitting a world-class level youth against a current student to see how well they fare in seemingly easy and straightforward tasks specially selected by our experts. Let's get started. Hello, Xiu Po. Hello, Sui. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please take a seat. Thank you very much. So we are here at Tomasic Kali and Mr. Tan Xiu Po is the section head for School of Informatics and IT. He's been teaching for the last four years and also been in the IT business for the last 15 years as well. So I've got a very important question for you. Now, IT, a growing sector locally and globally as well. Why is IT so important? Well, um, IT is now part and parcel of our lives. We serve the net and uh, we listen to music, watch videos, and we even set up businesses online. From now on to the future, it's here to stay. For our skills challenge today, it's going to be very fun and very interesting because we have two contestants that will be building a website for me. So let's get started. I can't wait yeah. to see them. Let's bring them in. All right. Come on in, guys. Who do we have here? Hi, on my left is Clarence. Hi, Clarence. Hello. And, and Lily, my is Nicole. nice to meet you. So I hear that Clarence received a medallion of excellence in the 2017 World International Competition. Yes, World Skills International. He's a graduate as well, and I hear he is our world-class level youth. <laughs> and our current student, the very fresh-faced Nicole, nice to meet you here. She's currently doing her diploma in uh, information technology. Yes. So the two of them will be creating a website for me. What is there to look for? What are some of the criteria that make a good website? Well, first, uh, we need to understand the client's needs mm -hmm. and also uh, the target audience for the uh, website. So before we start creating the website, we have to interview the client okay. and then find out more about the requirements, how the client wants the style to be like mm -hmm. and uh, what kind of the functions are needed for the website. After that, then we can start uh, doing the development and building the website. I actually prepared some stuff for you. So I'm going to give you a brief right now. Let's give ladies first. This is what I have. This is me. And for you, Clarence, we have the same exact brief, okay? So, for my website, uh, I think there are just two things that I really want to have. Number one would be to tell people who I am, to tell my potential clients what I'm capable of. The second part would be for them to get into action, to get to, you know, talk to me, start asking questions, maybe uh, look at future booking, and then they can ask me about like rates. So, those are the two main parts. So, I just want a website that look and represent who I am. I'm very energetic, I like colours, and then and I also want something that maybe in the future for me to go in and you know do little edits. You think that's okay? Well, that's overwhelming, but <gasps> sorry, <laughs> I but believe it's, in it's, you. But it's always alright. I mean, because uh, this is the part and parcel of uh, web development. In the initial stage, the client will have a lot of requirements, and so that's why we need to interview the client and then uh, see what can be done within uh, let's say a few hours. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Good luck, guys. See you later. Clarence, what have you prepared? Okay, so what I've done here is actually created a simple mock-up and a quick layout of basically how the web page will basically look. So at the top here, you can see there's like a header and here will be your logo image. Mm -hmm. And here will be a large section for your banner and all your banner images. So now we also have like, for example, your header, your content, and obviously there will be a button here for call to action. What I have in mind is a more modern and simplistic approach to the website. Okay, sounds good. Maybe you will show me a little bit more about how you'll look like later, right? Sure. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's see what the overall look will be like. All right, thank you, Clarence. Thank you. It's now Nicole's turn to present. What do you have for us? So this is the home page. It will have a picture, and then it will give you some information. And then there's the portfolio, a gallery, which uh, has a link to pictures and videos. And there's finally the contact page uh, with an option to either book or give feedback. If you find that you don't want some feedback to be shown, you can easily delete those feedback from your database as well. So thank you, I really appreciate it. Thank you. 
Okay, so for our students are hard at work. Communication is a very big part very, of what they important. do, so they're not hiding behind the computer Correct. screen. So they have to go out and face people, right? Yes. What if there are like some clients that are over demanding? How do you teach them to manage expectations? Our first thing we have to be patient. Uh, second thing is uh, we have to always keep on the smiling face. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty tough. I think communication skills is another skill set. Yes. You need to how to read the mood of the client. So that's the whole different skill that they have to develop as well. Yeah, and uh, so when we give out ideas and uh, proposals, we we'll always look at uh, what's the target audience, what's the basis of a website to give you a better understanding of how your website can work out. So yes. I, I presume if you want to be relevant in the industry, it's all about learning and picking up new skills along yes. the way. Okay, so thank you guys for working very hard. We'll leave you to be and we'll come back to you in a few hours and check out on your progress, okay? Right now, um, both Clarence and Nicole has uh, completed their web page. I'm so excited. <laughs> I want to see everything. All right, okay, so let's take a look at what Nicole has done for you. Okay. All right. So I'll type in the link, and this is the home page of the website which I've created for you. And then you scroll down, yeah. and then you have a little write up yeah. about uh, yourself. Then this is just a short portfolio. Yeah. And this is your gallery. Okay. And this is a page where people can click either to book or give feedback. Oh. Okay. And I have your uh, Instagram um, nice. gallery row here. All my latest photos <laughs> are here. Uh, there's also the subscribe to newsletter input here. As I mentioned before, there's a link to your PDF. So if I click on the view profile page, it'll open uh, your PDF. Oh, cool. I don't even have that function now. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. So this is the form where customers can book an appointment and I actually oh. added this uh, Google Calendar function as well so it can be linked to your own calendars. Wow, that's amazing. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, Siopo, I mean, they have a very short time to do coding and also within the hour as well, she asked me a couple of questions. From your expert point of view, is there anything else you think she can improve on as a client myself? I'm, I'm very impressed. Yeah, um, so additionally, I think what she could have improved on is to uh, add an authentication so that you can log in and uh, to delete the feedback that you deem unfit. She has done pretty well with the color scheme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the first thing. The layout segregation is uh, very nicely done as well. The fonts being used, I think it's very nice fonts, especially uh, make you as the center of extraction. Okay, I think we should see the next final presentation from yes. Clarence. Of course. Are you ready to show me what you've done? Yeah, of course. Uh, so what I've done here is basically just a very nice and simple website. What I've really focused on is trying to make the design very clean and very attractive. Uh, scrolling down here, you can see there's a very short summary about what you're doing. So your video presenter, your live show host, and so on. There's also a very short summary about works that you've done in the past. And of course, there's also another button to take you to the portfolio page. Okay. And then at the bottom, there is the get in touch. Lastly, we have the booking area where people can submit a booking request. Now, you might be wondering where you'll be able to see all the booking requests. Well, there is actually an administration page over here. And it's actually protected by a simple password login page. An incredible feat to be accomplished within three very short hours. A lot of information I've downloaded. Xiopo, what do you think? I think it's impressive, really, uh, because in such a short time, uh, he can get the uh, login system done, able to uh, authenticate uh, a user, and then to uh, do the administration functions. Based on the layout-wise, I think uh, it's quite clean. Yep, so this is quite impressive. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing such a great job. I really appreciate it. So today, I need to ask you, what do you think about their performance with the Skills Challenge? I think Clarence is very fast in his speed. He was saying three hours, he did it, but actually when I timed it just now, it was like two hours. And you mentioned to do a website like that with whatever that he gave me actually takes about 12. Yeah, 10 to 12 hours. So he yeah, did it in yeah. one fifth of the time. Yeah. He's like the flesh. <laughs> All right, see, so what about my friend Nicole? Oh, Nicole, uh, she's, she's uh, very meticulous and she actually uh, made use of a third party API, like the Google API calendar. Okay, yeah. so I think I'll give you my summary as well since I'm the client, right? So today, I feel very comfortable with Nicole. I think her communication skills are very strong. And then like what you mentioned as well, I think the good point was that she gave me this extra stuff which I didn't expect, like booking of the calendar. So that's something brand new. So you've taught me something new today. So thank you very much. What I really like about Clarence is that I can see him storyboarding. He's like a very, very well-planned man. Like he's got a plan and he 
carry it out like step by step. I think it's very, very technically very strong. The way that I see that he lays out my paint is neat, it's sleek, and it's easy to get to. So let's ask them how they feel sure, about the skills yes. challenge. All right. Shall we start with Clarence? Yeah, the challenge was uh, quite interesting. Um, doing something in three hours, obviously, I had some experience with that before in world skills. Um, but uh, it was still pretty tense and pretty exciting. Okay, that's really nice. What about you? Well, I feel like I really enjoyed this experience, although it was stressful and challenging. <laughs> I felt that it gave a lot of room for my creativity to really explore what a client would want on her web page. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this experience. <laughs> <laughs> so much in a day. I want to say a very big thank you because we have these special education and journal and map to help you chart your way to the very top. And to you, Clarence, as well. Keep on being you, keep rocking all the way to number one. And with that, a big thank you to our experts. Thank you so much for coaching them and leading and guiding us. No problem. With that, thank you for watching this episode. Hopefully, you learned a thing or two about the IT industry and appreciate the hard work that goes behind your website. My name is Sue Wei. Till then, see ya.